All right, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? To be honest, I hadn't realized that you're that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. So, just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Well, because Kale asked me to. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. But she insisted, saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So Tainari, what exactly is wrong with Kale? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar? Yes, it's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on the affected area of the skin. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. That sounds terrifying! Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier? Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. What? The Fatui? Ah. It appears you are already familiar with them. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. I have no idea how this Doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Oh, Paimon had no idea Kale's been through so much suffering. Oh, by the way, Paimon. She doesn't need to apologize. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her. Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. Well, it's not too serious at this point. Though, I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gundarvaville. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. <sighs> All right. Now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. Yeah. We'd like to do something to help Kale too. All right, but I must warn you two. The rainforest is a dangerous place. No problemo! Let's go then. We'll hey, Tainari? Where exactly are we going to find this plant? 